thinking about so I am again and I'm thinking <laughs> hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel you know what, I was thinking, y'all, maybe I should start introducing myself before I start my video. Like, I don't even tell y'all my name. So, if you are new here, I am Kay. Hey. Thank y'all so much for coming back. If y'all came back, and if you didn't come back and you're new here, yeah, like I said, I am Kay. Y'all should love it here. Y'all should. So, today is snowing. Let me show you guys. Not that I'm happy that it's snowing. Okay. You can see the little drizzles. Yeah, yes, y'all can. It's snowing. So, I'm stuck in the house. I need to sit down. My job, today I had work today. I had called off work because like, who finna put themselves in danger to get to work and come back to work? And then when I get off work, it was gonna be negative two degrees. So the snow might turn to ice. Who finna play? Not this one. Let me tell you how. Damn. My camera never failed like that before. Are y'all okay? Yeah, my camera had failed. I was scared. I ain't never dropped my camera like that. Uh, this why I'm this why I'm gonna tell y'all. So today I had work, and like I said, I was not finna drive in this weather. They was willing to do Ubers, but at the same time, it's like the roads are slippery, Uber or not. Just because I'm not driving, don't mean that the other person won't slip. So I don't trust the roads. I just don't trust the roads. So I decided to stay home. Like I'm gonna explain my job a little bit. I work at a gas station. If y'all don't know yet. But y'all should know if y'all watch me. I don't only just work at one. I work at multiple gas station. They call those rovers. So I'm a rover. I be roving around, right? So today, I was working 25 minutes away. And who finna be 25 minutes on the road and it's not me? Us rovers, we have our own managers. So I had talked to my manager. I told my manager, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it to work because I don't trust the roads. And he said, okay, call the store and let them know that you're not going to be able to make it. I said, okay. <laughs> All right, so I had called the store. The manager answered. I said, "Hey, this is Kayla. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna be able to make it work." Y'all know what she said? She said, "No, you gotta come to work." Who the fuck you talking to? I gotta come to work. This is shit that be pissing me off, y'all. I don't have to do anything. Who are you to tell me that I have to come to work? But anyways. I said it's too risky for me to come to work. Basically explaining to her what I told my manager. Like it's too far. So you know what she told me? She was like I have employees who live far away as well. And they come to work. Okay well they should be able to come to work today then. <laughs> Fuck. So she said did you talk to your manager? I said yes indeed. And she said what did he say? All he said was okay. <laughs> the manager know. So I said here I am lady I know. She said okay I'm going to call. I'm going to give you a call back. What you mean going to give me a call back? No, you're not. You're not going to call me. Anyways, I just said, okay. So, my manager. <sighs> I respect my manager a lot. But, I get a text from my manager. He said, saying that you can't work because it's too far away is not a good excuse. You can work at a different store. I said, okay. I work at a different store. He gave me a store that's like eight minutes away from here. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it because I can't come to work. Like, So, I said, okay, I'm willing to do it. But then I told him. I'm going to read y'all a text message. Hold on. So, when he asked me, can I work at a closer store, I said, sure. And then he was like, do you need an Uber there? And I was like, yes, I need one there and back. This is what I said. I said, I need one there and back. By the way, I don't like how the manager made me feel guilty about not wanting to come out there. People call off and leave work early for silly excuses. This weather is dangerous and reasonable for not coming in. I don't mind working and I'm not the one to usually call off. Because, yeah, I don't call off. Like, I want to just say this real quick. I'm not a workaholic. I don't believe in overworking yourself. At the same time, I am in a stage in life where I do I have I have to do what I need to do in order to pay the bills that I have. You know what I'm saying? Like I am not a robot, I am not a slave, I'm not none of that. I'm not finna risk my life or overwork myself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm not the one to usually call off. And I told him, I said, she told me no, I have to work and I find that disrespectful. It did. And uh, I had let it be known. Like, I did not like the way she talked to me. I don't like how she made it seem like I have to work when I usually don't call off. Like, I don't call off, y'all. So, anyways, that's that. And, um, yeah. I'm in the house for the rest of the day. I did go grocery shopping. Pretty much probably just gonna chill, yeah. I'm just gonna chill, clean up a little, eat a little, watch a movie a little. And, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, right now... I did make me, I did make me a little breakfast. Let me show y'all what I'm snacking on. I'm actually eating this. 
I just got this. I don't know what this was, but this has got like lots of fiber and protein in it. So this is what I'm eating on. Just put some milk in it. And yeah. Okay, y'all. Um, <laughs> I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to chill. I don't know what I'm here to do. When I do something or something, I'll come back to y'all. Okay. okay. Hey y'all. So I just woke up from a fire ass nap. <sighs> it feels so good. So I'm gonna wake up, you ain't gonna lie. When I woke up from my nap, I checked my phone and nowhere. Nobody hit me up. Nobody's checking on me. <laughs> it's okay though. Living alone make you realize like who truly like fuck with you and who don't. That's all. I'm not even a cook. I can't chill on TV. But my nap feels so good, y'all. It was so therapeutic. Take naps. Take naps. Naps are needed. Take naps. Let me show y'all what I got cooking. I got me some corn, some green beans. And I'm making some buffalo cauliflower. Okay, guys. So this is what I made. I made some corn, some green beans, and some buffalo cauliflower. This is what we want to eat for dinner. Mm. This is unhealthy vegan food. Unhealthy vegan food. This is one for me. So, I love watching her because sometimes, like, when I watch her, she, like, motivates me to do things and stuff. So, shout out to you, girl. But anyways, um, woo! I was eating spicy stuff. My nose running and everything. She was just like, I'm watching one of her shows that says The Secret to Content Creation. Mind y'all, y'all, I'm always trying to feed my brain. I'm always trying to do better, trying to do best and stuff like that. So, she was basically saying, like, Whatever you try to manifest, whatever you want out of life, you first, you just got to find your why. Basically, find your mission. What do you want to do? So, like, start off writing your goals. So, here I am. I'm just writing out my goals for 2023. Well, not necessarily 2023. Like, 2023 is around the corner. But I'm just writing out my goals in general, like, of what I want to start exceeding. Like, from here on out, I realized, like, I need to create a routine and I realize I don't have a routine. I really don't. I used to kind of have a routine, but like I have not been kind of following it. I kind of know how I like want the start of my day to go. Like my routine and what it looks like. And I want to share like my routine with y'all because I'm doing this journey with y'all. I'm doing this journey with y'all. And when I do stuff with y'all, it motivates me to do more because it's like, okay, I put this out here and it's like, y'all help me. Y'all motivate me to stick to what I want to do just by giving me compliments or saying I'm doing a good job. Just stuff like that. That really do help motivate me. So that's why I like doing things with y'all. Oh. Hey guys, so today is a whole new day. It has actually been two days later since I last seen y'all. And, um, ooh, excuse the interviews, y'all. But I remember the last time we left off is I was going over, like, my routine and stuff like that. 
I don't want to get too deep into my goals. I will read out a few of my goals to y'all. Show y'all like what kind of like uh, things I'm going for. And also, but I will be mainly talking about my routine. But before we get into that, I wanted to sh uh, share something with y'all. So this was like sometime last week. I was going through like a mental breakdown. I'll show y'all a clip. I had recorded like just me talking out loud and I was going to post it but instead of just posting that video we can just talk about the video so here's a clip hello y'all Jen you always see me happy like I always got I'm always looking my best today I just did not feel like doing all that like I wanted to truly show y'all like what's really going on like a life update type type but things is not going to go 100% your way every second of the day or every day at moments like this is me this is life at moments life got me like this and then at moment I'm like this like I'm up and then I'm down and that's what life is about ups and downs right now in this moment I feel like I'm one of this I'm at this point in life right now where this is like this is me and it's like I know I just got me a place and like I'm supposed to be happy but honestly I'm just really not at my best self. Like, I'm grateful. I really am happy about where I'm at. And, like, you know that I'm able to do this for myself. I truly am happy, but it's just like, I'm not at my best self right now. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like, I've been smoking. I could've hid that from y'all. Cause like I said, people only posting the good, y'all. I don't just wanna be like this perfect person in front of the camera, this perfect girl. I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going through a rough time in my journey at this moment, but that's okay. Because every time, every like downfall or every mistake or something, it I learn from it. I truly learn from it. This video is for me to come back and be able to know that hard times is going to come, but keep going. So yeah, now that y'all seen it, I wanted to talk about this video because on my channel, I don't want to hide the bad. I don't want to hide the times where I'm going through like a rough patch or whatever. I want to be able to show y'all that I go through hard times and that everything is not just light over here. Like I go through a darkness as well. It would be silly of me to entertain the darkness and make it seem like I'm going to forever be there. Everybody go through Everybody go through a hard time. And some people don't show that hard time. Well, on my channel, like I said, I want to be able to show y'all because I want y'all to show like me that I'm human. I'm not just this YouTuber who just have everything together or who just only want to show their good side. Like I want this channel to be true, authentic. Um, been like two to three weeks now since I moved. But one of my coworkers, she told me, I thought that you would be happy or more happy since you moved into your apartment. I asked her, I said, do I look happy? She said, no. And I was like, damn. Like, I didn't take offense of, but this is like, I didn't know that me actually, like my, my, like my mental health was actually showing. Like I was trying to hide it from the world, like show that I am happy, which is deep down inside that I have a lot of work to work on. So that is why like I wrote down like my goals and routine. Let me tell y'all some things that I've been going through. Lately, I've been around energy that has not been beneficial to me. And on this channel, y'all know we talk about energy and how like energy affects us. So if you're around energy, if you're around someone who energy is down, if you are like a positive person, or if you're just a person who's always uplifted and then you get around or be around someone whose energy is not similar to yours or whatever, it will show, it will show through you. So, like I've been around uh, certain people who has not been uplifting my energy because anything they've been taking away from me or like I just been down when I'm around them. I think that's one of the reasons why like I haven't been as happy as I should because I've been around energy that has not been uplifting me and also like I can know I can also say that my eating habits my eating habits have not been the same and let me tell you something most people think vegans are healthy that is not true and I am living proof like I'm not proud to say like oh I'm not 100% healthy like I do try my best to eat more whole plant-based foods and stuff like that but just because someone is vegan does not mean they healthy for instance um you can eat a bag of chips that are vegan like for instance uh plain lays lays are not healthy for you but they are vegan 
like I do consume a lot of chips. Not as much as I used to, thank God. But I do consume a lot of chips. I have been consuming, I ain't gonna say a lot of fried foods, but I have been noticing that I'm eating more fried foods than usual. And fried foods is not good for you. You know what I'm saying? So I can't say like also like my eating habits, they have not been as well, like as good. You wanna always feel your best. And when it comes to food, food, makes you feel a type of way. Whether you're eating good food or like unhealthy food. And sad to say, if you're eating unhealthy fried foods, you're gonna feel unhealthy. You're gonna feel drained. And also I have been wake I have been waking up. Like I would sleep for nine hours, y'all, and still wake up tired. Like it's ridiculous. But at the same time it's like I'm so grateful and I'm so happy that I'm noticing these things because some people are like blind to these things. They don't know why their energy are drained. They don't even know why they are this the way they are. I am grateful that I have the knowledge to know who I am. I'm like I know why my energy down and I notice that my energy down. I'm so grateful that I can tap into my own energy and notice why. Also, I've been smoking. <laughs> it was hard for me to come to y'all and say this because like y'all know like like a couple of videos ago like I had made a vlog of me quitting weed and I stopped for a month straight right I had stopped all the way up to I moved to this apartment and when I moved to this apartment I wanted to know what it feel like to live the high life live the life high in your own place i remember saying when i get my own apartment like i'm going to smoke like i'm going to sit in my own place and smoke and feel good so i told myself i was like i'm only going to smoke like one two times and then honestly that has not been the case but that's okay like this i'm not saying it's okay but it's okay like every day we live a new day and we have a day like god give us a new day the universe give us a new day to start a new day you know what i'm saying so like yeah i have been like smoking lately i have not been smoking as much though like my old ways like my old ways where i smoke every morning every night during the midday like i probably smoke every other day and if i am smoking i'm literally smoking like y'all know the little papers the papers not the rellos but papers i used to smoke rellos but the little papers i probably smoke a joint you know every other day if not half of a joint but still like i'm not saying that that's acceptable but also like me knowing falling back into my old ways has also been another way like i have been down too because it doesn't uplift me okay in the moment I wanted to live the high life like it's okay to for me to chill watch a movie sip a little wine on my couch but if i'm coming home doing it every day every other day if i'm doing that every day of course that's going to drain my energy i have to know when to put the stop when to put a stop on it you know what i'm saying sorry if i'm talking like that these damn retainers you have me talk funny i know why youtubers or people just in general don't show the bad side because you, you show a good side of yourself to the world and then when you lack that good side, when you start doing the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing, you don't want to show that side because that's when people come to you and start judging you. Y'all can judge me all y'all want to. That does not faze me. I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all do motivate me. I do look forward to y'all and y'all comments and y'all telling me like a good job or thank you or like just saying motivate me. Like I do look forward to that because I that really do help me a lot. Like it does. It helped me a lot. I appreciate y'all a lot. And like I'm just grateful that I'm able to be honest with y'all. And because I do trust y'all and y'all do uplift me. So, now we can get into like some of my goals that I got down. By the way, my tree have lights. I just never have them on. Yesterday was Christmas, by the way. Today is December 26th. But, um, anyways. So, we got a new year upon us. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say this is my goals for 2023. This is my goal moving on from here on out. So, a couple of goals that I have is, um, I want to get to 10,000 subscribers. Ah. Another goal that I have is focus more on my body and my chakras. Uh, another goal that I have is um, less cooked food. Only eat cooked food once a day. I don't know if y'all know, but eating raw food is more better than eating cooked food. So eating a lot of cooked food kills your nutrients and stuff like that. That's just a couple of goals that I have on my uh, notes or whatever. So I wanted to get deeper into my daily routine. I'm sharing my routine with y'all because me as a YouTuber, I want to be able to be in front of the camera more and 
do these things not only for me but with y'all and y'all can do these things with me and y'all can learn from what i do you know what i'm saying they yeah, upload it once a week is really not good enough for me it's not good enough for me i want to be able to be in front of the camera like be vlogging at all times like be a full-time youtuber so my daily routine looks like is it's not in order this is just things how my uh starting day would look like but these are not in order so when i first wake up i want to be able to uh drink water like just sip water and as i'm sipping my water that's when i'll be able to meditate slash set intentions for the day and then i'll be able to take vitamins i I should be able to move my body, shower, get dressed, and go about my day. So that's how I want the start of my day to look like. I want to be able to focus more on me, which is putting food, putting vitamins in my body, move my body around, set intentions, and of course drink water. By the end of the day, read at least, at least a page of my book that I've been reading before bed. I'm going to be able to do my five cents imagination those who don't know what that is is basically before i go to bed i'll use my five senses to be able to manifest so for instance um like for one of my goals i said i want to be able to i don't know take vitamins use my five senses to what it looks like to take vitamins every day if it's important to me i'm gonna do it you know what i'm saying so, or as i if i don't want to do that i can use my five senses Instead of imagining it, I can journal. Another thing I want to do is on a, day, on a daily basis is drink water before I go to bed. Also, I want to tell y'all that another reason like my energy has been down is because I eat before I go to bed. Like I have been eating like chips or just junk food before I go to bed and I go to sleep. That's why I've been waking up so tired. So no, no eating before bed. Just drink water because that'll be that'll help me feel better when I wake up in the morning. So, yeah. Also, I got another thing. I got some more things that I got on here, which is I want to be able to do a, fa a facial once a week. Like my skincare routine, do a facial once a week, my own facial. I don't got to go no professionalist. I have my own facial once a week. Yanni steam at least once a month. Detox three days every one month. And reading over my own journals uh to see where i grow when i read over my journal it shows that i am growing like if i read something like right now it's 2022 if i read something that i wrote in 2023 and when i read it and i show that and i see that it shows that i'm growing like i read something that i wrote like six months ago and then i read it, i'm like wow i am actually growing so just me reading my journal just go back and read my some of my old stuff in my journey it would help me grow and show that i'm actually growing so yeah yeah that's what i really wanted to talk about i just want to talk about like my routine i just want to talk to y'all be honest with y'all be open with y'all of like how i'm moving here on out and forth and i want to be able to do this journey with y'all you know what i'm saying because i appreciate y'all i want to say thank you so much if y'all have listened to me and i want to be able to do these things with y'all do be on this journey with y'all because this is my journey this is my channel about it's about me and i'm going to be able to do it with y'all y'all help me y'all motivate me y'all come on this journey with me tell me what y'all learn tell me what y'all grow and stuff like that so yeah if y'all watch this video thank you so much for watching i appreciate y'all and if y'all have not yet hit that subscribe button for me go ahead hit that subscribe button for me and comment down below some things that y'all want to break on for yourself and this is always a growing channel we are always growing we don't talk negative about each other no matter how many times we gotta start over we want to we can start over as long as we live another day we can start over so yeah thank you so much for watching until then i will see y'all in another video thank you